Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today of our beginning of the year teaching called A Blast from the Fast. Today we're going to talk about what is fasting. But before we get into that, I do want to give you your scripture verse. Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 says, When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites do. Let's get on with part number one here. What is fasting? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. I have three points for you. The first point is the understanding. I want us to understand what fasting is. Now, the phrase fast or to fast in the Bible means to cover over. Now, I know a lot of times in, in our language we talk about something going fast as in speed, like a motorcycle is really fast. This is a little bit different. That word means to cover over. Because in the Bible, when people would fast, they almost always used it as a time to cover over their mouths, in a sense, because they would not eat things that they normally enjoyed eating. So that's what the Bible's talking about when it's talking about fasting, to cover over or to put aside some things that we normally enjoy. Now, you might say, why in the world would somebody want to do that? Well, here's a couple reasons why. When we put aside, when we purposely put aside something that we enjoy doing or enjoy eating with the Lord in mind, it helps to weaken the bad part of us. The Bible says we all have this flesh or this sin nature that kind of pulls against us and tries to steer us away from doing the things that God would have us to do. And fasting is one way that weakens that part of us. On the other hand, it strengthens the good part of us, the spirit part of us that wants to do uh, the things that are pleasing and acceptable to God. So it weakens the bad part, it strengthens the good part. It also helps to show us if we're serious about our relationship with the Lord. Now, God already knows if we're serious about Him or not, but He wants me and you to know if we're, how serious we are about Him. I mean, are we willing to put aside a piece of cake or a favorite dish or a favorite television program or video game to show the Lord that we're serious about our relationship with Him? Fasting can help us see that. And it's also obedient to what Jesus said. In our scripture verse even, Matthew 6, 16, Jesus said, when you fast. He didn't say if you fast, he said when you fast. Fasting is to be a part of every Christian's life. If you trust Jesus, if you believe in him, there needs to be times of fasting in your life and my life. Now, the Bible doesn't necessarily say when exactly that's going to be. We're to be led by the Holy Spirit as to when the Lord would have us to fast something. There's all kinds of famous people in the Word of God. Nehemiah, John, Esther, King Darius. These people were all noted for fasting for particular reasons. And that's the understanding. Fasting is to cover over or to put aside something we enjoy to do or something we enjoy eating so that we can be obedient to the Lord and grow and strengthen our spirit. That's the understanding. Now, number two is the action. Exactly how do we go about this? Well, what you do is for a period of time, you put aside or you do not partake of some things that you would normally eat or do. In the Bible, mostly fasting had to do with food, but it could be anything. You could fast video games or you could fast sweets or you could fast gum or, or junk food or something like that. Something that you enjoy doing, either a food or an activity, you set that aside as part of your fast. It could be for a day, it could be for several weeks. Now at our church at Hope and Life, at the first part of the year, we do our fast for 21 days at the beginning of the year. But now understand this, fasting has to be something that hits you where you live. It's gotta be important to you. If somebody said, oh, I hate broccoli, so I'm gonna fast broccoli, no, that, that wouldn't work because that's something that you don't enjoy. Fasting has to be something that so when you miss it, it reminds you that you're doing it because of your love and obedience to God. So it's usually food related, but it also can be activities that you enjoy to do. And the third thing for today is what our attitude is supposed to be. Well, it says in Matthew 6, 16, when you fast, don't look gloomy like the hypocrites do. Jesus was very, very critical of people that tried to show off in their relationship with God. So when we're fasting, even though we might really, really miss that particular food or activity, we don't want to show it on our face. We want to continue to look joyful and happy and, and knowing that God loves us. And we want to kind of, as best as we can, keep it to ourselves. Now, as a church, we can share it with one another, but you don't want to brag about it or go into school and say, hey, everybody, look at me. I'm so spiritual because I'm fasting. No, Jesus said you keep it to yourself. And he knows, the Father knows what we're doing in secret and will be rewarded. But if we try to show off and say, oh, look, everybody, I'm fasting. Well, then we really have our reward already. We're not going to have a lot of spiritual benefit from it. So we kind of do the best we can to keep it to ourselves. Of course, you can share your ideas with your parents or your fellow church members. But it's something that we're doing privately as an exercise to the Lord. So... 
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your goodness in our lives. And Lord, thank you for this ability to give up some of the things that we like to do or eat in order to strengthen us spiritually so we can be better Christians, so we can give you more glory, so we can show better love to the people you've placed in our lives. We love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Everybody said...